Compliance Engineering Ireland is an accredited service for measurement of radio frequency exposures from a range of sources, including mobile phone base stations, broadcast transmitters, industrial, medical and electrical equipment. I'm talking with John McCauley, Managing Director of CEI. John, thank you for joining us today. What are the main reasons for measuring exposures to radio signals from mobile network antennas? The main reason for measuring the exposure limit levels from mobile base station antennas is for two purposes. One is in an occupational setting. It is necessary to establish the compliance boundary into which workers, or indeed the public, can enter. From a public perspective, it is necessary to establish the compliance level with the international limits. You've done many surveys of base stations. Have you ever found a situation where the compliance levels have been exceeded at ground level? Uh, in relation to compliance uh, of base stations at ground level, we have never found a situation where the uh, electromagnetic fields exceeded the limits at ground level. Um, the levels are typically 1,000 times below the limit. The only time that is uh, possible for a member of the public to uh, experience uh, an electromagnetic field which may come close to the limit is in locations where you can approach close to the front face of the antenna and that is, uh, typically does not happen. Can you reliably estimate your exposure simply by looking at the base station? If, if a member of the public is, is looking at a base station, there really isn't a lot that they can do to determine exposure levels. Some base stations where there are a larger number of antennas, you may be able to determine if there are multiple operators and as a result, um, higher electromagnetic field strengths. Of course, it's important to remember that the uh, compliance margin for most base stations is very large. Even if you have two, three or four operators using the base station, you're still talking about vanishingly small levels. What do you typically find are the comparative levels from base stations and broadcast transmitters? The exposure levels from uh, mobile systems compared to all our sources such as broadcast transmitters is that they're typically similar. While the TV and radio transmitters are much higher power, they tend to be located in isolated locations, whereas the mobile antennas are distributed throughout the community. However, the power levels from the mobile systems are much lower than they are from the TV and radio transmitters. So the result is that the levels are uh, similar. Um, if you go close to the uh, TV and radio transmitter, you will experience a much higher level, but they are much less frequent. Are there any common errors that people make when doing either compliance measurements or establishing levels at ground level around base stations? The, the most common mistake that is made in, in respect of carrying out measurements on environmental surveys or compliance boundaries is in the use of inappropriate equipment. Um, it is very important that the equipment doesn't have an uh, out-of-band response to signals uh, or uh, a poor sensitivity level, which can cause drift. For example, some probes are sensitive to light, and in bright sunlight they can actually record a reading, which can quite easily lead the um, person carrying out the survey to determine that the compliance levels have been exceeded when in actual fact it's from an extraneous source. John, I'd like to thank you and Compliance Engineering Ireland for your cooperation today. What's the process for taking measurements close to a mobile network antenna? When you're establishing the zone around the antenna, it is necessary to approach the antenna with the meter outreached in your hand to ensure that the meter enters the uh, boundary before the body. This is to establish the compliance boundary. This allows the operator of the uh, antenna system 
to establish areas into which the uh, workers can enter and which the public can enter. The measurement of the compliance boundary is typically carried out using a broadband meter. The operator approaches the antenna with the meter outstretched so that the meter enters the field before the operator. The purpose is to establish the volume around the antenna, which is known as the compliance boundary. So typically you approach the antenna from the front, find out the distance where you reach the limit, then scan in height to establish the height at which it's exceeded, and then traverse a 360 degree arc around the antenna to determine the area of the beam. The beam emits from the front of the antenna, so levels are only measured in front of the antenna, you can approach right up to the back of the antenna without exceeding the occupational limit or the public limit. It's important to remember in the case of mobile phone base stations uh, antennas that they are typically well away from access from uh, workers or the public. If the, the bottom of the antenna is above head height, that it is not possible to enter the area of the compliance boundary. If you are able to gain access to the front face of the antenna, the occupational limit is typically reached at a distance of about one to two metres from the front face of the antenna. The public limit would be reached at a distance of perhaps three to four metres from the front face of the antenna. The circular type of antennas that you see on a base station are what's known as radio links. These antennas produce a pencil beam which is used to transmit the signal to another distant point and because they use very low power levels, the compliance boundary is typically not exceeded until you enter a zone very, very close to the front face of the antenna, which is typically the probe has to be put inside the antenna in order to measure a level which exceeds the limit. Uh, it, typically, if you are uh, at any location, even in front of the antenna, you are compliant with the limits. John, I would like to thank you and Compliance Engineering Ireland for your cooperation today. When you're doing measurements at ground level around a base station, what are the main things that need to be considered? When, when doing measurements at, at ground level around a mobile phone base station, most base stations, the antennas are located at 15 metres height or greater. So as a result, the beam from the antennas doesn't actually reach the ground until a distance of perhaps 60 to 100 metres away from the antenna. The, the primary purpose is to determine the location at which you have the highest field strength, and that is the point at which the beam interacts with the ground. That level is many times below the limits because you're now 60 to 100 metres away from the base station. Most base stations have got three antenna transmitting in a 360 degree arc, so it is necessary to traverse the area all the way around the, the uh, mast. If you want to accurately determine the compliance margin and to also to establish the contribution from different operators, it is necessary to use a spectrum analyzer type device in conjunction with an antenna, which will provide information on the different operators and will allow you to accurately establish the additive level from the different operators and also to establish the contribution from each frequency to fully determine compliance with the international limits. The levels decrease with the square of distance, so they decrease quite quickly. When the point is found at which the highest signals are existing, we then normally use a spectrum analyzer type device in order to determine the actual compliance margin. The levels from uh, an environmental survey would typically be perhaps a thousand times 
below the limit. Quite often they are uh, 10,000, perhaps 100,000 times below the limits. Um, and, and that is in, in uh, an open area. When you enter a building, because of the absorption of the surface of the building of the electromagnetic fields, the uh, compliance levels are typically always greater than 10,000 times and usually more than 100,000 or a million times below the limits. So as a result, the exposure levels to uh, electromagnetic fields from mobile phone base stations are vanishingly small. And I suppose the thing about mobile phone base stations is that um, the levels, you know, a, a typical transmitter on a mobile phone base station is 20 watts. Um, if you think of our normal light bulb is 60 watts. So the actual power level in the uh, system is actually very low. Um, and as a result, we have these very large compliance levels. Unfortunately, with electromagnetic fields, we can't see feel or hear them. So as a result, we, we do not have um, a personal assessment of what the levels are like. So as a result, it is necessary to carry out measurements to establish that compliance level. John, I would like to thank you and Compliance Engineering Ireland for your cooperation today.